and you can have a seat right there. Thank you. Ooh, free treats. Super nice of you. Absolutely. And that's an awesome shirt. I'm really digging the fish. Thank you so much. No, I really appreciate it. This is my lucky shirt. I wear it to all of my interviews. All of your interviews? <laughs> all of my interviews. Hiring managers say they have never seen somebody wear a shirt like this to an interview. It really is a conversation piece. Well, I definitely believe that. Uh, so let's jump right into it. This session is really just to get to know you, see where you're at. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind just introducing yourself and telling us all why you're here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm Alex Freebird. I'm an aspiring data analyst. Um, I've been applying for about six months or so, but uh, I haven't had much luck. I've gotten a few interviews, maybe like three or four, uh, but nobody's offered me a job yet. Um, and I'm not really sure why. And so I'm hoping you'll kind of help me figure that out. That's great, Alex. And it's super nice to meet you. Um, and we're gonna do our best to help you, okay? Please, that'd be amazing. So I have a few questions for you, uh, but let's just start off. Why do you think you're not getting hired? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's the million dollar question, right? I have no idea. I think I'm really like most candidates, right? I apply on Glassdoor, ZipRecruiter. Uh, I get some type of Zoom interview. Um, and then about a week later, I get a rejection call. So that's kind of pretty standard for how my interviews and how my job applying has been going. Okay, interesting. So are you applying through the sites or have you ever worked with a recruiter? Uh, no. <laughs> I've spent most of my life trying to get rid of the middleman. Why would I then go and hire somebody to apply for jobs for me when I could just apply myself? Seems a bit counterintuitive, don't you think? You know that's not how it works, right? Like, not at all. <laughs> I guess we can agree to disagree. All right, well, let's move along. Uh, I have your resume right here, and I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about this job experience section. Uh, yeah, um, that's pretty simple. Uh, I spent two years at Foot Locker, and then I spent two years at Jamba Juice. They have great juice. Yeah, I know they have great juice, uh, because you wrote it as part of your job description. Why would you write that as part of your job description? They have great juice. Uh, okay. So I see something here that I do like, uh, data mining. Can you tell me more about that, how you've used it in the past? All right, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I just put it on there because I thought it sounded good. I thought it might, you know, give me some interviews. Is that a bad thing? Uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. Uh, and I'm not seeing any other skills on here besides things like leadership, uh, driven, hard worker. Do you have any like technical skills like SQL or anything? You mean SQL? No, I don't need that. I actually tried it once, uh, but it was super confusing. So no, I stopped using it. I just put everything into Excel now. Makes it a lot easier. Well, that makes perfect sense. Uh, one thing I'm not seeing on here is something like a LinkedIn or a portfolio. Do you have either of those? A portfolio? Really? So they can just go on there and steal my work for free? No, thanks. Uh, and LinkedIn is boring. <laughs> I would rather die. Uh, but I do have a Twitter and a TikTok. Should I be adding that to my resume? I can confidently say I don't think they're going to want to steal your work. And no, please don't put that on your resume. Uh, let's just switch gears a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about your actual interviews. Uh, tell me more about them. What kind of questions were you asked? How do you respond? You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so they asked me to tell them about myself, uh, which I came prepared. So I think I answered that one pretty well. They asked me things like my strengths and weaknesses, you know, just the usual stuff. And uh, sorry to cut you off, but could you actually tell me how you answered those? Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you about the last interview I actually had, because uh, I think it was a really good one. Um, I got started off talking about my time at Jamba Juice, uh, just my experience there. Uh, and they all love Jamba Juice. So it's kind of like that instant rapport uh, connection there. I then talked a little bit about my dog, Snowy who's a German Shepherd pug mix. I show him some pictures, they really like that. Um, talks about my mom and Gam Gam, a little bit about how they raised me, you know, trying to let them know like who I am as a person. Um, yeah, that was about it. Uh, just some of the basics about me. <sighs> okay, um, what about your strengths and weaknesses? How'd you answer that one? So for my greatest strength, I said perseverance, about how I never stop working to find a solution to the problem and how I'm always studying and trying to grow my skills so that I can overcome any obstacle. Wow, that's actually really good. And weaknesses? I said deadlines. Uh, I am a big procrastinator. <laughs> I almost never hit my deadlines. But I told them I was going to work on that. Okay, that is one way to answer that. I can definitely see why you've been having trouble finding a job. 